We're talking about French extreme horror from the Eight Films to Die For series. And we're talking about Frontiers. Yeah. This is a movie from 2007. And this fits right in with some of the other French extreme grades like Martyrs and Inside Them. Uh, you know what we're talking about. High tension, oh yeah. Frontiers. Uh, this is great bloody fun. Uh, it is in subtitles, and that's the best way to watch this film. Uh, is in the subtitled form. The original language, because you get more out of it, in my personal opinion. I'm going to open it up, yeah. This is a DVD version. I have not found a Blu-ray Blu -ray version that's all region, so... Well, there you go. But this is a great series of films. And I highly urge you, if you can find some of these DVDs, to track them all down and watch them all, because they're great, horrific fun, and a lot of the films that you've never even heard of before. Um, this is French Extreme. It's bloody, <laughs> disgusting in some scenes, and very disheartening as well. Um, yeah. And that's what you can get from the French Extreme films, but this was a film that gained so much notoriety um, due to the fact that, you know, anybody, everybody who bought one or two of these films tried to watch all of them, and once they watch this one, they're like, whoa, this one totally stands out as easily one of the best ones. So it's a French film. And we're talking about Yasmin. She's in Paris with her brother, who she's really close to, her boyfriend, who's very abusive. Uh, you can tell he was, had a hard life growing up, uh, and that's not explored in the film. And his two, her boyfriend's two lackeys, two basically idiots. <laughs> one guy thinks he's, he can get any woman he wants, he's suave. And the other one just wants to get back home to be with his girlfriend. Um, Notice that what he did, he made a big mistake doing. If he were to do it over again, he probably would have never had any part in being in Paris with these guys and stealing and looting and doing all types of bad stuff. That eventually um, gets back to them as well. But you reap your sow in this world, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so trying to get away from the police and all the chaos that's going on in Paris at this time. It's just complete, um, all-out anarchy. Um, they're trying to move away, and they've gained a lot of money from screwing people. <laughs> and they're all going to find a good place to go, relax, split the money, and then go their separate ways. Well, that's what they thought. So as they're traveling and traveling, um, Yasmin's brother ends up dying. And that's a spoiler alert. Sorry about that, guys. And then her whole life just goes downhill. From there, just nothing gets much better. <laughs> um, as you're going to find out through the context of the film. Um, Yasmin's such a strong character. She's willing to go through so much and come back for more. And that's what I like about her. Um, very female, warrior-oriented type performance. Who, at first, she just seems very fragile compared to the testosterone of the other guys but then she really redeems herself towards the end, as you'll find out. So what happens is the two lackeys get there first. They find this inn, and when they walk in, <laughs> like, I could, I would walk into this place and tell automatically something's not right, and I'd walk the hell out. Sorry, guys, made a mistake. Uh, these guys stay because they see two women, um, and these two women look like they've been through a lot of crap. <laughs> um, you know. Uh, but they still stay because, you know, one of, them's, one of them just wants to get it on with any woman he sees, or any woman who will pay attention to him. And these women are paying attention to him, and now, <laughs> cue up the big sex scene. <laughs> but things go really downhill from there when it's not what it seems to be. A nice little cozy inn where two girls are willing to put out for the guys is definitely not what it seems. More family members come, and it's all one big family run in. And then you meet the father, and then you know how disturbing this film gets. It gets even more disturbing. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anything else about the film. I told you that her brother died, but I'm not going to tell you anything else. This is a film you really have to see. You have to really enjoy every single moment of this film, because you'll really um, appreciate Yasmin. Um, the performance, um, Yasmin's performance, the, the actress who played Yasmin, just incredible, incredible. How she was able to build on her character, and know that when times are tough, and live or die, you have to do the best you can to survive. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. Um, 
really bloody film, gory film, disturbing as all get out, just what you would expect from a French horror extreme film, like The Great Frontiers. Highly enjoyable film. It never overwhelcomes its day. Um, it's about an hour and 40 minutes, and still you're gripped the entire way through. Um, there are so many characters in this film that I really liked. I, the guy who played the father was really awesome and scary and creepy. Um, all the performances, some were over the top, um, but others were, were dead on and just like you could take your eyes off of some of the actors in this film and some of the characters as well as they were um, very deep characters. Um, even some of the, the crazed out murderers of this family this family of murderers, even some of them had depth to them, <laughs> which, you know, you don't see in a lot of other films. Some obviously did not. But um, definitely check out Frontiers. If you have not checked this one out, this is one you should definitely check out. Uh, it is one of the best from this series of eight films to die for. And if you try to track down each and every one of these movies, um, I've seen about half of them, I would say. Uh, I really enjoyed all of them. There wasn't one that I, that I did not enjoy. And this one is my all-time favorite, from what I've seen so far. But definitely check this one out. Yes, this is the French answer to hostile in soul. Gripping and brutal, a hot pounding, uber violent, and yet thought provoking horror thriller known as Frontiers. Fresh, fresh, French extreme film. Lots of blood and gore, lots of fun. This one's gonna go on the cheeseometer. Ten being the best, one being the worst. I give this a nine and a half. Thrilling film, awesome film. I've seen this one several times. Love the hell out of it. So check it out. And uh, check out all the other reviews this week. They're all doing a bang up job. And you get to see what other films you see from the Eagles and Die for Series. Because this is this week is all about, baby. Oh, yeah. And check me out next week. Next week, I'm bring more fun stuff to the table. So definitely check it out. But don't forget to watch those late night articles. Read up on your latest Fright Max. Don't forget to tune in to another episode of the show we call Body Bags. Or I have a special end for you to visit. <laughs>